One way to better understand native speakers and also to speak as fluently as native speakers is to work on connected speech. This means that there is linking between the sequences of sounds in utterances and in conversations. This is why pronunciation might be difficult not only to understand, but also to replicate. And connected speech is the key. So today we're gonna have a look at a few common phrases for you to add to your own repertoire and also identify when you hear them out in the real world. Let's get started. All right, so it's no doubt that native speakers have the tendency to speak fast. Moreover, because of connected speech, pacing aside, it might be tricky to understand what they're saying. To show you what I mean, let's have a look at the following. Where are you from? Where are you from? We don't say, where are you from? We say, where are you from? Where are you from? That almost sounds like a standalone word, right? even though it's actually four separate words whose sounds get linked to one another to make, where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? All right, so that's one example. Where are you gets reduced to where ya, but ya is a schwa, ya, right? Schwa, so it stays the same. Okay, next example. How you doing? How you doing? How are you doing? turns into how you doing. Again, a schwa sound after the how. And we also don't pronounce the G at the end of going. It just phases out, we swallow it. How you doing? Next one, where'd you grow up? Where did you grow up becomes, where'd you grow up? Did you becomes ja, ja. Where'd ya? Where'd you grow up? Where'd you grow up? Where'd you grow up? Where did you grow up? So, did you becomes ja, ja. So, when linked, that's where ja, where ja, where'd you grow up? Next, what do you do? What do you do becomes what do you do? Like, what do you do for a living? What do you do for fun? So, it's fun to say this, try it yourself. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do for fun? What do you do for a living? Next one, what are your, what are your hobbies? What are your becomes, what are your, what are your, what are your? You might say, what are your hobbies? Or what are your interests? Or what are you working on right now? What are you studying at university? What are your hobbies and interests, right? What are your, what are your, what are your, what are your? All right, you wanna add a little bit more complexity to this? What are some of your, what are some of your? What are some of your becomes, what are some of your? What are some of your? So, very interesting, right? This is all because of linking sounds and connected speech. So try saying, what are some of your? What are some of your? Maybe 10 times fast. What are some of your? What are some of your? Talk about a tongue twister, right? What are some of your hobbies? What are some of your hobbies? What are some of your interests? What are some of your? What are some of your? What are some of your? How's it going? How's it going? You've probably encountered this from either native friends or American sitcoms. How is it going? How's it going? Meaning, how is life going? Or how is your day going? That's generally what the it stands for in that greeting, right? Because it's a greeting. How's it going? How's it going? Okay? So, how is it gets turned into how's it? How's it? How's it with the linking phenomenon in linguistics? It's pretty cool, right? I certainly think so. How do you say the following utterances like a native English speaker? So for here, you may want to pause the lesson and try saying it yourself before I say the utterance. And that way you can see if you're doing it right or if you have the right idea in mind. And if not, that's okay because we're here to learn, right? Okay, you can also just repeat after me. Do whatever works best for you. Okay, I'm going to the store. Do you need anything? Okay, so how would you say this with linking and connected speech? Because 
you've probably noticed that native speakers don't talk this way. It's just not natural to talk this way. We're not robots, right? Okay, ready? Here it is. Or pause if you want to try on your own. I'm going to go to the store. Need anything? I'm going to go to the store. Need anything? Interesting. So I'm going to go to the store becomes I'm going to go to the store. 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 Need anything? Need anything? Right? And you barely even hear the need anything, right? So need anything? They kind of blend those two vowels. I am kind of tired. How are you feeling? So I'm saying it like this so that you can really hear what words are in this question, this utterance, this sentence. But again, we don't speak like this. It's not natural because we use connected speech and linking. So how would you say this with the connected speech and the linking? Okay, ready for it? I'm kind of tired. How you feeling? I'm kind of tired. How you feeling? How you feeling? Okay, so you could say how you feeling or how are you feeling or how you feeling? I'm kind of tired. I'm kind of tired. I'm kind of tired. I'm kind of tired. How you feeling? How you feeling? What about this one? I have got a lot on my plate right now. How do you say this with linking and connected speech? I've got a lot on my plate right now. I've got a lot on my plate right now. So I've got a lot of, I've got a lot of, I've got a lot of, I've got a lot of. There are a lot of schwa sounds in there. It's a very, very common, the most common vowel in American English. I've got a lot on my plate right now. Okay, next one. Let me get you a cup of coffee. How would you say this with linking and connected speech? What do you think? Let me get you a cup of coffee. How do you take it? How do you take it? Right, how do you take your coffee? Let me get you a cup of coffee. 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 Interesting, right? And then the next one, how do you take it? 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 Okay, great. Next one. I did not sleep a lot. I am zonked, meaning I'm very tired. So how do you say this with linking and with connected speech? Didn't sleep a ton, I'm zonked. Didn't sleep a ton, I'm zonked. Didn't sleep a ton, I'm zonked. Okay, amazing work. How fun is that? When I'm learning another language, I love, love, love learning proper linking and connected speech because it makes me feel like I have a way more sturdy grasp on the language as well as being better equipped to converse with native speakers in the language that I'm learning at the time and also to better understand them in conversation and also to better understand TV, movies, whatever in that language. So I hope that you had fun today learning about connected speech and practicing these examples of linking and the utterances. Practice them as much as you can and have fun with them. With new phrases and utterances you hear in the real world, try to unpack each phoneme, meaning each distinct sound, and almost reverse engineer that utterance so that you know what the unlinked version is. Right? Like when we articulated each word in the sentence, which again is going to be unnatural. People don't speak this way, but it gives us a sense of what those words are in that utterance so that when we are saying them as we would in a natural setting, in a natural way with the linking, then you are able to do that. Because knowing and practicing linking with connected speech is empowering. It really gets you that much closer to increasing your fluency in that language, and in this case, in English. All right, advanced English learners, thank you so much for tuning into this lesson. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you are listening to this lesson on the podcast, then be sure to leave us a review. You can leave up to five stars. That really helps us out. And if you're watching this, you can leave a big thumbs up. Be sure to share this podcast and our YouTube channel and our blog and website with anyone who wants to improve their English language and communication skills. All right, I will see you in the next one where we're going to continue advancing your English together. Until then, keep up the awesome work and I will see you soon.